Investigation, government urged to close unfit rental properties. Barbados pleased with tourism returns from Germany and Trinidad and Tobago mourns a former PM. Welcome to Nation News for Wednesday, April the 9th, 2014. Introducing the all-new Rubigas LPG Composite Bottle from Rubis. These exclusive 22-pound bottles weigh 50% less than traditional steel cylinders and can be used for picnicking and day-to-day -day home needs. These composite bottles are translucent, allowing you to see the liquid level at all times so you will never run out of gas unexpectedly. Lightweight, visible gas level, portable, corrosion-proof, eco-friendly. The Ruby Gas LPG Composite Bottle, available from Rubis. Government Senator David Gerund says it's time the authorities start closing down rental properties he describes as overpriced cubicles in deplorable condition. Reverend Gerund told the Upper House of Parliament that some landlords were not only exploiting people but giving the country a bad image as unfit properties were often rented by Caribbean natives. He said his church had recently found accommodation for an 89-year-old widow who had been living in one of these cubicles, which are really the result of landlords squeezing as many rooms as possible into her home with no regard for their tenants' comfort. Germany is proven to be a lucrative tourism market for Barbados, according to the Minister of Tourism, Richard Seely. He says the returns are justifying the country's promotion investment. He made the remarks after exchanging plaques with the captain of the Italian cruise ship Aida Bela, which made its first call at the Bridgetown port this morning on its way back to Europe. It is a fact that um, as far as the, the cruise subsector is concerned, the fastest growth is coming in, in Europe. Uh, and, uh, we are positioning ourselves as, as a serious uh, home port option in this part of the world. So our expansion of the seaport or expansion of the airport uh, is all aimed or all with a view of being able to handle the increased business that we expect to get uh, from home porting and much of that home porting coming out of Europe. So AIDA is a very important partner, of course part of the Carnival Group, um, who in fact give us more business than anyone else. British Airways has now argued that the UK's air passenger duty should be abolished and that view has not changed even with their reforms recently welcomed by Barbados and other Caribbean nations. The is district manager Nigel Blackett speaking at a function at Grantley Adams Airport said surveys had shown that the distance-based tax has had no positive effect on the British economy. It had also made other locations more attractive than Barbados, Mr. Blackett said. So for an individual or business class passenger, it's probably not that big a deal. Um, for a family of four, um, it does add up. And it's a significant um, cost when you add it to holding, especially what happens now for destinations that are within the band C, which is where we are currently. It does add significant cost. So if you can fly to Florida, for example, and pay, um, let's say, 80 pounds less for a family of four, and maybe hotels in Florida are probably cheaper, these large properties that may be cheaper, um, all-inclusive properties, then, you know, while you may prefer Barbies for the experience that you probably get in Barbies, it's quite different from what you get in Florida. The reality is that it will be a toss-up whether you go play the Barbies or you go to Florida. Our newest centenarian is Oliver Williams, surrounded by his eight children, other Family and friends, Mr. Williams, who declared many years ago he would live to 104, said he was feeling happy, content, and thankful to God for reaching the milestone. Governor General Sir Elliot Belgrave visited the birthday boy, we can say that, can we, at his daughter's Ford's Road at Michael home, where they had a chat and shared a toast. Mr. Williams, who is still a senior pastor at True Tabernacle Holiness Church, told Sir Elliot he owed his longevity to serving God and caring for his body. Good for him. And news about our neighbors. Former Trinidad and Tobago Prime Minister and President Ayanna Robinson has died at the age of 87 after a long illness. He served as Prime Minister from 1986 to 1991, surviving a coup attempt in 1990, during which he was shot in the leg. He and members of his government and lawmakers were held hostage in Parliament for six days in July 1990 by members of the radical Muslim group Jamaat al-Muslimin. 
Arthur Napoleon Raymond Robinson, who became better known as a and was president from 1997 to 2003. He was also regarded as one of the architects of the International Criminal Court. A judge in Puerto Rico has ordered the Roman Catholic Church to provide state prosecutors with all confidential documents related to an ongoing sexual abuse investigation. The Diocese of Arecibo in northern Puerto Rico had argued that it needed to protect the identity of those who made the allegations and that it had already provided sufficient information. The diocese has defrocked six priests accused of sex abuse and prosecutors are investigating at least 11 other priests in Puerto Rico facing similar accusations. And finally, a dog has been called to give evidence at a murder trial in France. Tango the Labrador was put on the witness stand to help discover who killed his owner at a hearing in Tours in northern France. The suspect was ordered to threaten the nine-year-old canine with a bat to see how it reacted. A second Labrador was also called in to face the same experiment to compare the reactions of the two animals. Well, both dogs are said to have flinched noticeably when the bat was raised at them. That's the midweek edition of Nation News.